Now based on the definition of transpose, we can define symmetric and uh, skew symmetric matrices. Uh, so if a matrix is equal to its transpose, then it is called symmetric matrix. Uh, so if A equal to A transpose, then, then A is called uh, you know symmetric matrix. You know one other way of writing it is, uh, if you assume that every element of each element of the matrix A can be written as uh, you know small a suffix ij where i represent the row and j represent the column if you know uh, an element which is present in i row and j column if it is equal to the element which is present in the j row and i column for all i and j then it is called as uh, you know a symmetric matrix so if you want the some example i'll just show you this 1 2 2 1 something like this right so now, if you observe this, uh, this element and this element both are same. See, this element is present in first row, second column. This element is present in second row, first column, right? A12 is equal to A21. Anyway, you know, you need not worry about the principal diagonal elements. The reason is for principal diagonal elements, obviously, AII is equal to AII, right? Which means uh, A11 is equal to A11 and A22 equal to A22. The reason is, if a matrix is uh, you know transposed after transposing uh, the principal diagonal is not going to change other elements are going to change but the principal diagonal elements are not going to change therefore in the definition of symmetric matrix we need not worry about uh, what happens at the principal diagonal right and now there is one more uh, one more type of matrix which is called as a skew symmetric matrix so if a equal to minus a transpose then such a matrix is called skew symmetric matrix um, so, how to write it in terms of elements is if small a i represent you know an element in i row and j column, then if a, if a matrix has to be skew symmetric, then a i j should be equal to minus a j i, right? So uh, here, here there is a small change in the sense if an if a matrix has to be a skew symmetric matrix there is one important property here see now uh, what happens to the principal diagonal all the principal diagonal elements will be of form a i i right which means uh, every principal diagonal element will be present in uh, first row first column second row second column like this 1 1 2 2 3 3 like this right now if a i i should be equal to minus a i i isn't it in place of i j i am putting minus so if this has to be equal then what should happen is you know you can take this on this side you can write it like this 2 into a i i equal to 0 so when will 2 into a i be equal to 0 since 2 is not equal to 0 it will be equal to 0 only when a i i is equal to 0 that implies a i i should be equal to 0 which means if a element if a matrix has to be skew symmetric then all the elements in the principal diagonal should be equal to 0 otherwise a matrix cannot be skew symmetric isn't it see simple if some matrix has to be skew symmetric obviously you are saying that after transposing you know and after multiplying it with minus 1 the uh, both the matrices have to be same but then after transposing the principal diagonal elements are going to be same and if you take a negation negative i mean if you multiply with minus 1 then we are going to get that uh, original principal diagonal elements is equal to the negative negative of the uh, you know next transpose this matrix uh, you know by that we get uh, that you know we we, we cannot prove that uh, a matrix is uh, skew symmetric unless all the elements here are zeros i think you are getting the point otherwise even if you didn't get it okay remember that uh, just by heart this point in a skew symmetric matrix is very important it has been asked in gate so in a skew symmetric matrix always the uh, principal diagonal elements is going to be zeros right i hope that you got this point next see this example if capital a is symmetric uh, or within brackets it is skew symmetric which means if a is let's talk about the first question if capital A is symmetric matrix, then show that K into A is also symmetric. Later we shall see if capital A is Q symmetric matrix, then show that K into A is also Q symmetric. Now let's see the first one. If capital A is symmetric, if capital A is symmetric, then we know that A equal to A transpose, right? And using this fact that A equal to A transpose, we should prove that k into a is also a symmetric matrix how can we prove that it is symmetric matrix we have to take the 
trans transpose k into a transpose already we have seen in the earlier video from the properties of transpose that k into a transpose can be written as k into a transpose right which means we can pull the constant out and apply the transpose only to the matrix now after this we know that already a and a transpose both are equal therefore in place of a transpose i am going to place a now what do we get k into a whole transpose equal to k a right therefore since uh, the matrix and its transpose both are equal we can say that k a uh, is uh, symmetric got it so if a is symmetric then k a is symmetric now next one is skew symmetric matrix right so if a is skew symmetric matrix then we should prove that k a is also skew symmetric for that reason first assumption is that a is skew symmetric a is q symmetric means a equal to you can write it like this right a my a transpose equal to minus a if that is the case then using this fact we should prove that k into a is q symmetric right so i'll take k into a transpose and i'll see what i get it can be written as k into a transpose and a transpose we already know that a transpose is equal to minus a therefore it is equal to k into minus a that equal to minus k a that equal to minus k into a therefore k into a transpose we get minus k a therefore we can say that if a is uh, skew symmetric then k into a is also skew symmetric if a is symmetric then k into a is symmetric got it okay we shall see more examples on this